Yo guys, what is up? It is Shrimp Cup. Welcome back to a, another video. Guys, I did want to give you guys my reaction of the new Black Ops 6 live action reveal trailers and some other videos that have been uploaded in terms of Black Ops 6. Now, I don't think there's any gameplay out just yet, so it will be very hard to see and kind of talk about how I think the game will be, but I wanted to react to this, the Truth Lies live action reveal trailer, because I've not watched this yet, and I want to go ahead and give you guys my reaction. So without further ado, let's hop in, and we'll discuss after. We're recording. Truth is... Bro, is that Bill Clinton? ...is a lie. You wanted peace, so... We hit the war, and now it rages all in the shadows. Behind closed doors, where we hide the world's secrets. While we build your trust, the world falls apart around you. If you weren't so distracted, you'd realize nothing is what it seems. But if it's truth you seek, look in the dark. That's sick. Okay, so the worldwide the worldwide reveal is gonna happen June 9th. That's very interesting. That was a cool little trailer. I, I do dude, dude, was that freaking Bill Clinton? I got a freaking look, man. <laughs> Bro. Dog, <laughs> what the heck? Bill Clinton DLC. We're gonna look at some of the comments here. George HW. Yeah, I was gonna say there's Dude, what? Yeah, George Bush, Bill Clinton, Margaret Thatcher, and Saddam Hussein. What the heck, man? I forgot. Uh, they forgot to add Epstein. That is wild. What the heck? That was longer than the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. Monica Lewinsky operator? Oh, no. Wow. Very interesting stuff here. I did not expect uh, these <laughs> these people in the in the game. So, it seems like Black Ops 6 is going to really try to hammer and home some really, really ballsy stuff, which I don't think COD has been kind of ballsy like that, at least in terms of, you know, similar to the original Modern Warfare 2 with the airport scene where you shoot up the airport and stuff like that. Because Call of Duty got put on the map because of how ballsy the stories were and how just really out there the themes would be. It's very interesting. That's like a big reason why COD is so well known now and it seems like with black ops 6 they're gonna really try to bring back that similar vibe which i think is very very cool and it looks like we do have a video by exclusive ace here okay so we have some gameplay here so that's the this is uh, some gameplay. But speaking of gameplay, over the weekend, we did get a very short teaser from Noah J, and it appears to be a slight teaser for zombies in this game. And it was just ah. a brief, like, two-second clip here. And if it's... Okay, interesting. So it it's not really actual gameplay, because it said first gameplay clip. Interesting. It does look like... Black Ops 6 will be released on older-gen consoles, too, so PlayStation 4 and Xbox Ones. That's going to be interesting, man. That is going to be interesting. Oh, and Adler is confirmed. Point out today, and this is something that appeared to be a mistake on the Call of Duty channel. Initially, they actually had the wrong thumbnail for this live action trailer. And instead, they had the thumbnail for the reveal trailer. Which... Ah, that's interesting. So I, I didn't fully play the Black Ops Cold War campaign, but I do generally know the story. And I know it was actually pretty decent. So that's actually kind of cool. They're bringing back Adler. I think a lot of people agree that Adler was a really, really good and well-written character. So that's going to be cool that he's coming back. But yeah, that's very interesting. And I did actually want to continue by saying, guys, that Black Ops 6 looks like it's going to be really cool. The marketing is super awesome. We have these cool little live-action reveal trailers and stuff. Very cool. Call of Duty has always been really, really good about marketing their games. Whether they're good or not is, you know, is debatable, right? But it looks like Black Ops 6 might be like a return to form in terms of like the ballsiness of Call of Duty.
Call of Duty and like the themes that they cover. So that's going to be interesting. But I will say this, guys, and I'm going to cut some gameplay here uh, in the background. But guys, I did want to say that Black Ops 6 looks like it's going to be cool. And the campaign's probably going to be a very strong campaign. I mean, it's Black Ops 6. Obviously, the last Black Ops game was Black Ops Cold War. Like, there's a lot of confusion on why it's Black Ops 6, not Black Ops 5. But uh, Black Ops Cold War was Black Ops 5. So that's completely understandable. But Black Ops 6 here looks like it, it's gonna. It looks like it's gonna be cool, like theme-wise, and 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 it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna have some interesting political figures in there as well. But I do think. And I have a feeling a lot of people will agree with me here that no matter how good the game looks and plays multiplayer-wise, skill-based matchmaking will ruin it 100%. I know there are some rumors saying that, oh, they're going to tone down skill-based matchmaking because of X-Defiant. But the fact of the matter is, is that there will still be skill-based matchmaking, and I think that's going to ruin it for a lot of people. The it seems that th like this, like Call of Duty has to get this right. Call of Duty has to get this game right, and they have to. The way that they handle the oh my gosh, freaking phone. The way that they handle this game is going to be make or break for a lot of people. I have not played Call of Duty, at least a modern Call of Duty, since Black Ops Cold War. And a lot of that too is the way that the game was handled was pretty, pretty broke, uh, pretty broken, and just not that good of a state for the first like half of the you know game's life cycle. And that's why I started playing COD Mobile. But the point of here is that no matter how good the game looks, no matter how good the game plays, and I would even say to an extent, you know, no matter how good the campaign is. I think because obviously a lot of people will go towards the multiplayer and I I think that you know Activision is going to have their skill based matchmaking algorithm and it's just going to make the gameplay dull and just samey and just not fun and feel manipulated. So guys, so that being said, let me know what you guys think about the teasers for Black Ops 6 in the comments below. Like I said, um, I want to make another video when gameplay is revealed and kind of give you guys my reaction of that. but. I also want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about this? Do you think it's going to be a really cool campaign? How do you think the multiplayer is going to be? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did enjoy this video, drop a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!